Hey friends, in this video we will see how we can add multiple users in multiple groups by using the PowerShell script and uh, CSV file. So in the CSV file we have to just store the user list as well as also the group list in which you just want to add them. Now let's see how the user list CSV file will be visible. So this is users group and in the user column you have to specify all user names and in the group column you have to specify the group name where you just want to add the users. Now we'll see in the PowerShell script how this CSV file will be used for adding users with certain conditions like if user is enabled or if user is disabled or if user is the part already a part of any groups in which we are just trying to add them. So now file open and this is the script name that is group underscore membership. I'm just going to open it. Now here you can see I'm just calling import dash module space active directory. So this command is used for adding the active directory module in my PowerShell script. Next is the dollar list. This is a variable where I'm just calling the CSV file in which we have specified the users as well as also group list. Now in the for each loop, I'm just using a for each loop and in this for each loop, I'm just using a new variable that is dollar user and this dollar user is just storing the values of the list variable where we have specified the CSV file. Next, this will check the status of the account by using get dash ad user dollar user dot user properties enabled. So this is just storing inside dollar ad user. If dollar ad user is enabled equal to true, it means if account is enabled or true, then it will check the membership if uh, account is already added in the groups in which we are just trying to add them. Next, if account is already added, then it will show the message in yellow foreground color. Next, in the else, in case if account is enabled and not added in any group, so first this will just add them by using this PowerShell command and next if account is uh, disabled then it will just skip to adding them in group and this will prompt us to uh, prompt us in the red format. So let's see by executing this PowerShell command next here you can see there are the three colors which we are getting first is that user is already uh, user is added in the group which we are just trying next is user info.01 is disabled and skipping because info dot info zero dot info dot zero one is uh, a disabled mode that's why this is just skipping to add them in any groups next user info dot zero two is already a member of group cells rw that's why it's skipping because we are just trying to add them in the cells rw so this will just skip to adding them next this has just added because this account does not uh, added uh, in the group finance rw and also this is not disabled that's why this has just added them in the finance rw so in the finance rw we have added two users Whereas info.01 is disabled, that's why this has not been added and showing us in the disabled. So let's see in the active directory how these accounts are added by using this PowerShell script. In the finance RW, if you go, there are the two users have been added. Next, ITRW is blank because uh, the account which we are just trying to add them in the ITRW this account is disabled that's why this has not been added in my IT team RW group. Next sales RW because this account is already a member of 
this cells RW group that's why this has not added and it's showing in the yellow foreground color so this is the way which you can follow to add the users in your active directory groups thank you for watching this video